the city who had been recognized by her specific school and is the May 2011 Rotary Club of Oklahoma City Teacher of the Month. Congratulations. Michelle Obama and uh, the Boathouse Foundation was very involved in that day and uh, has been involved since and is now uh, being honored with a resolution. Uh, this is for earning the prestigious Community Leadership Award from the President's Council of Sports, Fitness and Nutrition. We have a resolution. I'll ask the clerk to read it as we get settled. Whereas the President's Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition has awarded the Oklahoma City Boathouse yes. Foundation with the Community Leadership uh, Award. Whereas the President's Council on Sports, and a second, cast your votes. Passes unanimously. How about that? There you go. Oh. I just want to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. And, and we Ask Anita Arnold and Rhonda Mitchell to come forward. As you heard from uh, Morris and the trio, this is the Charlie Christian International Jazz Festival Week. Anita Arnold is here on our annual basis, and Rhonda Mitchell is the board president this year. Congratulations to both of you. We have a proclamation. I'll ask the clerk to read it. Whereas the Black Liberated Arts Center, now in its 41st year, was organized to showcase the cultural of African Americans and has brought to our city and our state the best in fine arts and arts education experiences. Service Jazz Appreciation Stamp and Cancellation Stamp with the Charlie Christian International Music Festival logo in its design on June 3, 2011. Whereas the Black Liberated Arts Center has brought recognition to Oklahoma City through the Charlie Christian International Music Festival, Bent Cornette, the mayor of the city of Oklahoma City, does hereby proclaim May 31st through June 4th as Charlie Christian International Music Festival Week in Oklahoma City, and he encourages all citizens to take this opportunity to experience the musical artistry of the festival. Now, therefore, Bent Cornette, the mayor of the city of Oklahoma City, does hereby proclaim May 31st through June 4th as Charlie Christian International Music Festival Week in Oklahoma City, and he encourages all citizens to take this opportunity to experience the musical artistry of the festival. Let's show our appreciation to Black Liberated Arts Center. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's our pleasure to be here for the 26th year and for the 95th birthday celebration of the Charlie, of Charlie Christian. I'll ask Lieutenant Commander Mike Erton to come up. It is Navy Week and we have a proclamation. I'll ask the clerk to read. Whereas Greater Oklahoma City is honored to have the presence of the United States Navy in our community. Whereas Oklahoma City is one of the most active Navy leagues in the United States, despite our landlocked location. States Navy Days in Oklahoma City. Let's show our appreciation to Commander Erden. Mr. Mayor, I appreciate this. Uh, on behalf of the commanding officer of Navy Recruiting District Dallas and the men and women serving in Oklahoma, um, thank you so much for your support. Uh, as everybody knows, we volunteer our service, but our families and the communities that we live in is what truly makes us, allows us to do our jobs and do it well without being distracted. And when I came to Oklahoma City this last year, I had no idea of the Navy presence that was here, and uh, I've been welcomed with with uh, open arms, and it's been a wonderful experience. Thank you. We've won it, Russell. Uh, this is actually the second year in a row. Um, I don't know how many other communities have pulled that off, but uh, we owe our thanks to uh, uh, Lloyd Kirk here at DEQ, who continues to nominate us for, uh, for all these awards, and, and because of the quality of the projects, we continue to win. So I don't know what he's going to select next year, but... Um, We'll, we'll see if we can continue to be successful. Uh, we do have a very successful Brownfields program, but uh, Dell is, it was, a, was an effort uh, that involved a, a lot of people from several different departments within the city uh, over a long period of time, and I don't know that there, 
too many landfills in the country that have been converted into such a productive use, and we're very grateful that Dell has chosen to locate in Oklahoma City. So with that, do we have a proclamation or do we just have the award? We just have the award. I'd like to thank the mayor and the council for their leadership on the city, but also for the partnership that the state has with the city on projects like this. It wouldn't happen. This award is really the highest award one can receive for environmental excellence, so it's a great another thing for the Oklahoma City, and like Russell said, we have to put another project in for next year, so we'll work on that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.